Alright mga mates, good day once again. Welcome to our um, online training and we will be discussing about manual calculation. And this is a uh, practical way of uh, calculation on board the vessel. Uh, we will uh, make it more realistic no, sa barco. And the example na gagamitin natin ay yung uh, mga details, no? yung hold capacity of the vessel. Okay, now our learning objective I how to get the maximum weight in metric tons in each cargo hold provided na meron ng stowage factor na ito. Okay? And number two, how to get the maximum percentage in each cargo. Yeah. And then, papakita na sa inyo ang hold wise distribution of the cargo uh, provided na ito ay maximum cargo to load in each hold muna okay wala muna tayong draft restriction wala muna tayong mga ganito basta our basis muna is how much the cargo hold can uh, how much weight can every hold can uh, take okay yeah, yeah. Provided na mayroon na storage fund. Okay, let's move now. Um, with this part, no? Apansin nyo, kinukuha ko dito yung details of the cargo hold. So, cargo hold number 1 to 7, uh, we focus only on the volume, no? Net volume in cubic meters. So, this is the full capacity of each cargo hold. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now, the total cubic meter is uh, about this, okay? And we have the LCG, TCG. You will use also this when you will load a grain cargo. But for now, we will not discuss about LCG and VCG details. We just focus here. Now, with our example previously, we load a type of cargo which is coal. And we declared uh, the coal have 42.5 storage factor. Now that storage fa factor, we will convert that into cubic meter per metric ton. So we have here, because this is density, if we want to use the density, then we will use 0 0.844, the density, okay? But we will be focused only with storage factor so 42.5 cubic feet okay 42.5 cubic feet we will convert that into cubic meter per metric ton so that is 1.184 okay now very basic formula only now let's go to cargo hold number one the cargo hold number one total capacity is 12,457.1 cubic meter. Okay, we will divide it with the stowage factor in cubic meter per metric ton. Now, the result will be the maximum cargo to load about 10,521 metric tons. All right, copy. So we have if you delete this, delete this cubic meter, and the remaining uh, uh, name of the measurement I get, okay, is metric tons. So this will come out to ten thousand five hundred twenty-one metric tons, and so forth. Okay, hold number two. Do the same thing. Okay, confirm. All right, here. Okay, 3906, 1319, all divided by 1.184 cubic meter per metric tons. This will be the result in 
make three cuts. Okay? Now, to give you the cargo hold wise, total cargo. Okay, the total cargo. You arrange it, one, two, three, four, five, seven, and you add it all. Okay? You will get a 81,912 metric tons maximum cargo to load. Okay? Considering this is all full, okay? 100 percentage. The percentage here is 100. Okay? Now, if, for example, because of the draft limit, you cannot uh, load it uh, full, okay? Maybe you want to depart with even kill. Now, you cannot have this kind of even kill if you, you load it all full. You adjust it to 9,000 or 9,000 here, number 1 and number 6, about 11,400. Okay, whatever the weight of your uh, cargo hold, actual cargo hold, you have to divide it with the full capacity in 100%. Okay, and the result of that is multiplied by 100%. That will be the percentage of your cargo hold. Okay, but for the meantime, we all have here 100% all. But any, any cargo hold hit less than 10, 100%, let's say 9,000 here, you have to divide it with 12,012. And then the result will be multiplied or will be divided by, uh, or multiplied by 100, and that is the percentage of your cargo hold number 2. Okay, so remember these uh, mga mates, no? na kung ano yung present weight of the cargo sa loob ng cargo hold ninyo, i-divide nyo lang dito sa full capacity of the weight, okay? Yung 100% na weight and then i-multiply ninyo ng 100%, yan ang lalabas na percentage of your cargo hold. Might be 95%, 87%, 92, 91, 95, and so forth. Okay, this is a basic arithmetic mga mates. So, I hope this presentation, guys, okay, uh, the learning objective uh, meet, we meet already the learning objective. Now, just review again and again with this uh, very practical explanation. Okay? So, Try to apply this in your own way. Okay, practice, practice, and practice. This is how we made without the help of the ludicator. Okay, but the good thing about ludicator when we uh, divide the um, holdwise, we can see the stress and the bending movement. But for now, at least I have tell you in manual calculation, this is the way we did it. Okay, we do it. All right, gentlemen, our uh, mga mates, I hope that you've learned another uh, practical uh, skills no? when it comes to manual calculation. Thank you. Thank you for watching and thank you for listening as well. Okay? Bye, mga mates.